Football Friday Night is powered by McDonald's. I'm loving it. Stars and Strikes. Get away and play. Power A. Power through. Culpepper Ace Hardware. Your neighborhood home convenience store in Evans and Thompson. Great deals on furniture. See it. Buy it. Take it home today. Chevrolet. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. And Jostens. Celebrating moments that matter. Now, the leader in local high school football coverage, WJBF Sports, brings you Football Friday Night. Welcome in week six of Football Friday Night. Brendan Robertson, alongside Colin Cody, almost halfway through the high school football season. I can't believe it, Brendan, and that's right. We'll always have 30 minutes of highlights coming up your way, including a bunch of region games for a lot of our Georgia teams. That's right. The Lakeside Panthers undefeated at 3-0. They've already got... Two wins over teams from South Carolina, Aiken High last week, and South Aiken. Tonight, a third game against a team from across the river, taking on 1-4 and four Emerald from the Greenville area. Panthers up 14-0, 6-18 left in the first half. Watch them go to work. Jaden Taylor hits Zaylon Hawes. His mom emailed us. We got his mm. name right this week. All the way down to the six-yard <laughs> line. Thank you, Miss Hawes, by the way. Next play, Taylor got the uh, read option. And reads it right, keeps it himself, punches it in, extra point, makes it 21 0. Panthers. Emerald trying to move the ball. Oh, yeah, the most lit student section, I was told, lit. over at Lakeside. <laughs> Emerald trying to move it. Zacoyas Elmore swings it to Kadarin Dean, coughs it up, Ryan Holleran recovering for Lakeside. Keep in mind, we're still at the end of the first half. Panthers immediately make the Vikings pay. Taylor going downfield, and that is Tyrone Manning, a 28 yard strike. Lakeside blowing it open, 28 0. Still 119 left in the half, though. They weren't done. They used their timeouts, forced another punt, get the ball back. Taylor hits Zaylon Haas again for a 30 yard gain. First down, point to him. There it is. And right before the end of the half, Taylor going to hit Jordan Driscoll in the back of the end zone. Lakeside with three touchdowns in the final six minutes of the first half. Steve Havens Ball Club undefeated. They went 42 7. Greenbrier, 0 3, taking on 0 5. Baldwin, somebody getting their first win of the season. Wolfpack on their opening drive. Jackson Fulmer swings it over the middle to Zach Kilpatrick. Great run and getting some key blocks. Nice. Going down the field, things looking good, uh, but Colin, a couple of those blocks were of the holding. Illegal. Block in the back tight. Do yeah. <laughs> so they have to punt. Greenbrier defense trying to hold on third down, and they do better than that. Gerald Kilgore going deep. Woo. Wilkes Riggins picks it off, going the other way for the Wolfpack and they were fired up. It was Jersey night in the Wolfpack student section. Ensuing drive, Fulmer going deep down the sideline. And watch the adjustment and the catch here from Braden Collette. I slowed it down. Beautiful. For you, there you go. What a grab. Gets them inside the five. They would punch it in with Zach Kilpatrick. Took a seven nothing lead, but it was all Baldwin after that 26-14. All right. And Thompson and Grovetown both two and two. The Bulldogs averaging almost 400 yards of offense per game. Grovetown's Simeon Barrow averaging two sacks per game. Hoping to slow down Thompson tonight. Now the Grovetown community showing solidarity with Thompson community after that devastating car crash yesterday. Picking up first quarter. Warriors lead 3 0. Tate Martin looking for his man, and he is picked off. Wow, by Kirk Smith. He jumps around, and that's going to be six as he dodges a couple tackles and get into the end zone. Grovetown now up 10-0. Now Grovetown's defense still very, very strong in the first half. Here's Simeon Barrow, like he said. Big boy. At least two a game. That's a tackle for loss right there. A few possessions later, this time Martin hands off to Snoop Williams, and he does right. He follows his blockers, gets down to a sideline, and he's going to go all the way down until the 20-yard line. Martin finishes the drive with the QB keeper Bulldogs finally on the board now 10 to 6. Now third quarter we go Dylan Hobbs is gonna call his own number for the easy punch in Thompson ahead now 12 to 10 but Grovetown comes back with a fourth quarter comeback final score 12 to 16. Also Burke County number eight in class 4A on the road against Effingham County. Burke County's Wanya Dove with the nice fake Keeps it and muscles his way for the huge first down. Dove now up again. He would take it up the middle, and he won't be denied. Untouched, he gets in for six. Final score of that game, 49-34. to 34. 
All right, a special night over at Hapsibah. They named the stadium for longtime head coach Big John McLeod, part of the Rebels program for more than 30 years. Love that. They had that big reunion earlier this summer when the Hapsibah football book came out. First of four games from 2A Region 4. Third quarter, Marshall Chambers to Eric Harris in the back of the end zone. Got a foot down. Give that man six. That's beautiful. Perhaps about Might 40 be top play. two to 13. We do have top plays. Rebels defense would not allow the Spartans to find an answer. William Harrell's ball club just swarming over there. Still in the third quarter, Rebels get the ball back. Jordan Wright, going to run it up the left side. Picks up a first down, keeps the drive going for Hepzibah. And then Chambers would take it in himself here for a touchdown. Hepzibah wins big, 48 to 13, the Ooh. final. Harlem, the Bulldogs, down in Jefferson County, first quarter. Isaiah Gaines looking for a hole, but uh, that Harlem defense Whew. shutting it down, getting to the ball. Very next play, Desmond Beal, though, going to take it up the middle for the touchdown, the tutty, and the Warriors tie it 7-7. <laughs> Harlem with the ball now, Cameron Garnett. Big playmaker. We've seen this before. Out running all the defenders and eventually finds himself surrounded. Warriors defense gets a huge stop, though. They get possession of the ball still in the first quarter. Jacob Robinson, there's the stop by the D. And then Robinson going deep, but is picked off by Danny Lindsay. What a grab. Oh, man. For the Harlem defense. That's a man's catch. Look at that. And Harlem goes down to Jefferson County. Todd Booker's team wins tonight. 30, no, excuse me, Jefferson County wins 42 to 32. That's Jeremiah Ellis with a touchdown. All right, Scranton County putting up almost 30 points a game on the road at Laney. Wildcats already 0-2 in Region 4 action. First quarter, it's the second play of the game. Scranton hands the ball off to Gary Hawkins. He is a man. Look at those legs, churning like butter. Goes down for the huge first down right outside the goal line. He would not be taken down. Now, Scranton hands off to Xavier Budget, and he finished the deal Gets them on the board. Screvin now looking to capitalize again. And 7 nothing. Laney with the ball. Hands it off to Dorian Hazel. He runs to the outside. And Keyshawn Sanders is going to get in the end zone off of the defender. Screvin County wins 34-6. Now Westside got John Wiley his first win as head coach two weeks ago. Trying to go 2-1 and one region play against Josie. West side with the ball going for a pass. It's picked off by Josie's Timothy Myers. Josie looking to turn things around. Goes for the pass, but West side returns the favor as CJ Hutchinson picks off the ball. That's a high flyer. He was wide open. He was wide open. And for, he goes all the way up the field. First down West side. West side with the ball now is Quamir Gooch after this return. He sneaks it to the outside, and it's a West Side touchdown. West Side scores 42 nothing final, 49 nothing in favor of the Patriots. All right, we've got some scores for you. Burke County wins on the road at Effingham County. ECI over at Jenkins County. Washington Wilkes 20 to 14 over Hancock Central. Lincoln County a big win against Warren County 41 to 14. All right, don't go anywhere. Just did the Georgia games. Yep. Got plenty more when we come back right here on Football Friday Night.